Back in the day, humans used goats to keep the grass clipped. Today, we still do. Meet the Ecovacs Goat A2500. This automated robot lawnmower is made to help you enjoy the beauty of a lawn without the work and in a huge leap for backyard kind without the need for running boundary wire. And to boot, it runs completely silently and it'll mow in perfect rows. In this video, I'm going to spend about two weeks with the Ecovacs Goat A2500. You'll see how things started out on the shaggy side and how it's been going since. I'll take you through what it's like to set up and how you mark out your lawn if you don't use boundary wire. I'll also look at the different settings and options for this robot lawn mower and show you exactly how it all works. I'll wrap things up with both the pros and the cons and let you know if I think this device might be right for you. I would like to say thank you to Ecovacs for becoming an ongoing sponsor of the channel this year. While the company is paying for my time, it hasn't told me what I have to say or what I can't say, and I got to test the lawnmower out as I wanted, so you can consider these thoughts all my own. I received the A2500 model designed to cut about 5 eighths of an acre, about 27,000 square feet or 2,500 square meters. In other words, a really big lawn. The first pieces out of the box are both menacing and mysterious, a spiky triad and two metal posts. Next is the top piece of the base station. Then it's time to meet our goat. Underneath the robot is a box of components, cables, and connections, which we'll dig into in a moment. Finally, at the very bottom is the base station pad. With everything laid out here, some of the components might look a bit mysterious, but in essence, what you have are three sets of components, the robot, the base station and the cylinder poles and spikes make up what's called the RTK reference station. I'll pause here for just a second because these components are still unique and new enough to us average consumers that a crash course might be handy. RTK stands for real-time kinematic and an RTK reference station is basically a GPS receiver that transmits real-time data about the location of your robot. This allows the robot to know precisely where it is on your lawn so it can cut those straight rows, unlike many other robot lawn mowers, which are kind of stuck doing random bumps and loops inside a wired boundary. If you haven't already, download and log into or sign up for the Ecovacs app. The app is going to walk you through the setup process and it will help you place your components. You have two things you need to take into account when you're doing your setup. The first is the location of the base station and the second is the position of the RTK station post. For the RTK station, connect the two poles to the metal stakes. To place it, you need an open area at least six feet away from buildings and not under trees or overhangs. It basically needs a clear view of the sky. But you also need to take that location into account when you're placing the base station to some extent because they are wired together. Fortunately, the app will test the signal and let you know if it's clear or you need to move it. Lastly, connect the cable from the RTK station to the base. The two parts of the base station will simply click together. It probably goes without saying, but you do need to keep the base station within reach of a plug. You do have about 10 meters or 33 feet of cord here, which helps. With the base station, it also needs to be in a clear and accessible area where the robot can come and go easily. You need about six feet on either side and so that the robot can back out of the base. I was able to place mine on a sandy area adjacent to the grass, but you could certainly put this right on your lawn as well. With both the RTK station and the base in place, you can use the included pegs or screws to secure the base plate to the ground. The last step before you can have a freshly trimmed lawn is to map your yard. There are two ways to go about this and which one you choose will depend a bit on your yard. If you have a fairly flat yard without a lot of obstacles, narrow areas, or any drop-offs, you can use what's called automatic mapping. The other option is manual mapping, and I chose this option because we do have an area of the lawn that does have about a four inch drop off where some edging was removed. The great thing about manual mapping though is that it's really easy and it takes just a couple of minutes. What you'll do is enable the mapping function and the app is gonna give you a joystick on screen. You'll tell the app when you're leaving the base station and when you return so it can always get your goat home. Use the joystick to drive your robot along the edges of your yard while you follow behind, maintaining a local Bluetooth connection for this task. This is fairly easy to do if a bit imperfect and maybe a bit fiddly. Because my lawn is largely rectangular, this was quite easy to do. 
The map gets saved so the bot knows exactly where to go and where not to. When you're ready to have your lawn cut, you have a few different options. You can just tap the app and send the robot out anytime. You can also schedule your cuttings. I'm a huge fan of having the Ecovax Goat A2500 cut the lawn overnight every other day. Because the lawnmower runs completely silently, it's not going to disturb me or the neighbors. Take a listen. You can't hear hardly a thing. The goat is kind of a ninja. The bot moves pretty quickly as well. Officially, the mowing speed is 2.3 feet per second or about 400 square meters per hour or 4,300 square feet per hour. That translates to it being able to cut my entire lawn, which is about 50 foot by 30 foot in less than 40 minutes. If I flip the robot over, you can see a little better how it works. On this model, two spinning blade arrays with three blades each mulch down your lawn, which brings me to another great feature, and that's that you never have to rake since the small bits are easily absorbed and composted back into your lawn. Another great feature I wanna call out here is that it will cut your lawn in perfect rows. Older lawn robots without cameras and recognition technology are forced to simply bump their way around your yard in a random pattern, and only constant outings will keep the whole lawn clipped. But with the Ecovax Goat A2500, the robot can position itself exactly on the map and cut out perfect rows every time. In fact, it will even reverse the row direction every other week to help keep from developing ruts. Goat can cut grass from 1.2 to 3.6 inches tall, and with its big chunky back tires with plenty of grip, it can easily manage hills up to a 50% grade or 27 degree slope. Goat is also able to get right up to the edges. Now to some extent this will rely on you mapping your lawn carefully at the outset, but it's also assisted by a 3D camera with AI recognition that can help it see where it's going. You can also enable something called cross boundary mowing where the robot will essentially nudge its way over your map's boundary line just to make sure those edges of the lawn get trimmed. The recognition technology also makes it pretty remarkable at avoiding obstacles. The camera can help it spot things like a wayward hose, a dog toy, or other obstacle bigger than about 10 centimeters or four inches. It will also divert if it detects a person or a pet in its path. And while it got close to me, it never touched me or Kika. Good girl. I noted earlier I have a small drop off on my lawn. It did trip up the robot a handful of times, so I decided to set a no-go zone for this edge simply to keep it out of trouble. To do this, you'll essentially use the joystick and walk the robot over to the area you want to block off, roll the robot around that area, and then save it. It's easy and really helpful to keep goat from getting stuck. Depending on the complexity of your yard, you can divide your space up into different zones that you can have cut at different times. Sadly, one of the things most robot lawnmowers can't identify is dog poop. That means you might occasionally need to hose off your robot. Goat A2500 is IPX6 waterproof, meaning you can rinse it with water from the hose, but it wouldn't be recommended to use something like a high pressure garden nozzle. So if you're splashing out on a pricey lawn robot, how do you keep it from getting stolen and what happens if it does? Ecovax Goat A2500 has a couple security features to ensure your mower stays on your property and if it is potentially stolen that you could find it and tell the police where it is. First off, you can set a pin code so that anybody who's using the robot needs that code before they can ever use it. If someone does lift up the mower to potentially carry it off, the GOAT A2500 is going to sound the alarm. And same thing if the mower is brought outside of your virtual boundary, alarms are going to go off. The alarm isn't overly loud, but it is enough to draw attention and perhaps make a thief think twice. Plus, once it sounds, it takes several minutes to shut it off, a further deterrent. Finally, location tracking will always show the mower's current location. You might be wondering if goat can cut multiple lawn areas, and the answer is it depends on how they're separated. If there is no physical barrier and there is something like a pathway connecting those two areas, the mower can map the entire space as one, and then you can later divide that up into what are called zones, and you can schedule cutting when you want on each of the zones. And if there is no way to get between those areas, so for example, if you have a fenced front yard and a backyard and you might want to carry goat over to the other area. Sadly, you can't because it does not currently support storing two separate maps. But I will say many of Ecovax's robot vacuums now have the ability to store multiple maps. So perhaps this is a technology that could be added in a future firmware update. 
Another great thing about this robot is it has strong battery life and remarkably took only about 45 minutes to fully recharge. Because it will always return to the base station where it's going to get a full charge, it should be ready to cut your lawn at a moment's notice. Let's take one last look at this automated lawn robot that can take your lawn from shaggy to sharp in minutes. Overall, I can't believe what a huge leap forward the Ecovacs GOAT A2500 is for robot lawnmowers. It essentially makes this technology extremely easy to deploy in almost any yard because it removes one of the biggest barriers, in my opinion, which is the need to dig and bury boundary wire. That reason alone, the fact you don't need boundary wire for this machine is more than enough for me to want it, but let's go over both the pros and the cons so you can see if it might work for you. On the pro side, this robot lawnmower could not be easier to set up and get working in your yard. The super easy walk behind mapping takes just minutes. The robot does an outstanding job at cutting the lawn for a few reasons. It's powerful with very efficient mowing that cuts your lawn in tidy rows and the spinning dual blade discs underneath do a fast job. It operates almost completely silently, meaning you can cut the lawn overnight when it's not being used. It also has adjustable cutting height. It's waterproof and washable, plus with LiDAR enhanced RTK and vision navigation, it can avoid obstacles on its own, cut right up to the edges of your lawn, and cut big lawns, plus it recharges really fast. This is truly a remarkable robot lawnmower that is about to make most other robot lawnmower technology obsolete. So what are the potential downsides? I suppose for some people it could be finding a suitable location where the base station can access the lawn while the RTK station can continue to see the sky for that connected GPS navigation. The other potential downside could be price. I will take note though the price of this product category has been coming down recently. Ecovacs GOAT A2500 sells for about $19.99 US and you can get it from Ecovacs website and from Amazon. In short, I can't believe what an amazing robot lawnmower this has been, and it's been an absolute dream for cutting my lawn. I can definitely recommend the Ecovacs GOAT A2500 for you. You can also see about a few other products I've reviewed that make me a huge fan of the Ecovacs brand and why I'm so grateful to them as an ongoing sponsor of my channel. The company makes really great products that you can learn more about right now.